Okay, for part two of Elevation Legends, let's add additional information in here and make this map more about, well, slightly more about describing the elevations of the lower 48. So you might think you do that in the legend properties, but you actually add that context in symbology. Uh, we have to have our elevation data set selected, go into symbology, and down here under advanced labeling, we can add intervals. So let's see here, let's shoot for three intervals. And notice that it automatically divided the ramp up into other colors. We've got white at the top, and then we've got the mid values. I used the explore tool and went in and sampled elevations at this yellow, because this is really distinctive, and they're all right around 1000 meters. And then I um, sampled this darkest brown, and they're all right around 2000 meters. So that shows you that this color ramp isn't evenly distributed to the elevation values. There isn't a one-to-one -one match, um, or I should say maybe the elevation values aren't evenly distributed across this range of values because half of 4,300, even if we round it to 2,000, should be down here. Um, but this, this color is 2,000. And so we're mapping our distribution of elevation values using standard deviation to this color ramp. Um, and that's how we get this look and not kind of a, a bland look where, um, because we only have a few really high elevations, it would just be a very different looking map. Um, so we can add that information here and, and be more transparent with our audience about what we're, what we're actually showing them on the map by doing this. But we're not going to include an elevation of 861 meters on our legend because that's super ugly. So um, we want to change this to 1,000. We don't want to just change the label to 1,000 because that would be incorrect. We want our break value to be at 1,000 and another one at 2,000. But notice that these colors aren't changing when we do that. And so that's part of what I want to draw your attention to, is that it is dynamic up to a certain point. Um, these, these colors were correct for the values that it put in here, but when we adjust the values, it doesn't automatically or dynamically adjust the colors. We're going to have to do that ourselves. And I'm glad I went in and sampled these, because now we know where to put these labels. All right, let's apply it and notice that it totally changed our color ramp. All right, I'm going to roll with it because um, we're getting way into the weeds. This still does a nice job. It's still the same basic idea. I know this darkest brown and the bit of yellow that we have are these values. And I can go in and double check that, which we should, because that's the right thing to do. Let's find some of those browns where they're not competing with the hill shade. And we'll sample kind of across here. So you can see that's just around 2,000 meters. We're hovering right around 2,000 meters. So I think I'm safe to label that brown um, 2,000. And then let's find where that yellow is really distinctive, like in here. And we'll sample the yellowest areas and hope that they're around 1,000. And they are. So that gives us confidence that we can go into our elevation let's go back to our layout and we're going to move these to map to the brown and to the yellow uh, we do need to put our units back in there so we can do that with a little cooperation there we go in the label down here under advanced labeling and i think it makes the most sense to label each one of them with a unit Thank you for your patience. OK, that's nice and clean. And then, uh, right, then what we want to do is convert this thing to a graphic. And we do that up in the legend itself. We want to convert the legend to a graphic. And then we're going to ungroup it. So I'm right clicking. I'm right clicking after I get it activated. There we go. Ungroup and then click off it, and now I can pick these items up independently. It looks like these scooched a little bit off their mark. We're gonna drag 2,000 to the darkest brown. We're gonna drag the 1,000 to the yellow. And remember, we've checked all this with our Explore tool, and we're gonna bring this down to the bottom. 
Okay, and now we have a map or a legend that's demonstrating that we don't have an even distribution of elevation values. We've added that little bit of information in there and made the elevation legend a little bit more nuanced and professional.